Greetings, I am Tony Chappelle, owner of TKC Photography, and today I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, who has shared my videos, and I'm very excited guys of what, what's been going on. So viewers have been asking questions, so I am going to start asking the, answer the questions on videos. So one of the questions that came in was, what type of lenses are you using? So today I'm gonna to go over the type of lenses that I am using. So thank you for the question. So first up, we have the Canon EF 35 millimeter micro. This particular lens is a micro lens, it's 35, so it shoots at a, a wider angle. This particular lens is a 2.8, so the 2.8 represents the highest aperture that it can go to, and I will cover aperture in later videos um, that deals with the actual camera. So that's what that particular lens does, wide angles, and the highest aperture is 2.8. Next we have is the Canon Nifty 50. This lens right here was the very first lens I ever purchased um, when I bought my camera. So it is a great portrait lens. The f-stop or the aperture on this particular lens is a 1.8 and it does really great with compression. So you can get great portraits with this depending on how your client or your family is in front of you, you can get good landscape with that particular lens, okay? So next we have is the Canon 85 millimeter, which is a 1.8. So that particular lens is 1.8. That is a go-to lens that I keep in my arsenal, guys. I keep it in my arsenal. I do great portrait shots with it. I can get great landscape with it. I make sure that I keep it with me when I do events and weddings. So that is a great lens to have, guys. Remember that, that's a great lens to have. So next on the list I have is a 28 to 105 Canon lens. This particular lens aperture goes up to 4.5. The lowest is 3.5. So on this lens, you can use this more so in a studio setting. So when I go to a studio setting, I will use that lens in a studio setting as well because the range, if I don't have certain rooms, or I need to extend out, I can go up to 28 to 105. So that particular lens covers that when I am shooting. Also to get great landscape with it, with this particular lens, because of the aperture is 3.5 to 4.5, the blur that you can get with the 1.8, the 2.8 are not the same. So that's how you know the difference in the lens. So the 3.5, the 3.545 brings the focus of what you're shooting open wide. So it opens up so you're not getting the blur, so you can, you're catching everything in the background from that particular lens, okay? My next one that's up and running is the Canon 24 to 70 lens. So this particular lens is another go-to lens for me, another go-to lens. I use this in a studio setting as well. I use it for family portraits when I'm doing outside settings. And I definitely use it when I am doing weddings, guys, and events. So that is a go-to lens. I do not leave home without that lens. So that is a great lens to have in your arsenal. As you progress in your photography, you'll see the need to progress in your lenses. So last but not least, I'm gonna to go to what I call Big Bertha. So Big Bertha is the 70 to 200 lens. This particular lens that I use is definitely a wedding um, lens. So that way it's a more intimate setting with your clients. You're not in the, in the way, you're not messing up the ceremony, you're getting still getting great shots without all the focus being on you and only on the bride. Also a great, 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 great lens for portrait photography as well. 
And if you're just a novice or you just want to take pictures of your son's or daughter's sporting events, great, great lens for them. Because you can't get on the field, great for um, football, great for soccer, great for basketball, things of that nature. This is a great lens where you can get up close shots from 70 range to the 200 range from that shot. So that is a great lens that I have. So as you see, this is what I use in my arsenal. I will go into other videos of what each one of those do when I'm actually shooting, but today, this is what I have to show you. So thank you for your time, and I look forward to your likes and your comments. Please ask those questions. Love you guys. <laughs>